1 Timothy 4 and 14. It says, neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy with the land on of the hands of the presbytery. Okay, I want to say Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah. By Shimra Kakudash, the bonus to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, salutation to the icons that's pushing the truth and sincerity. And uh, Lord willing, I'll be right this uh this lesson be on, um, that this lesson be edifying. All right. So, uh, and the sole purpose of uh, basically bringing that precept out first is just to furthermore explain on the fact of not neglecting the gift that is in thee, man. Okay, because it was given to you from the Lord, man, which uh, signifies your talent, man, you know, all right, a gift goes back into being a talent, and I'm going to grab that real quick, and um, you want to interchange your talents, man, all right, at the table with brothers, man, you know, you want to make sure that you are uh, not only providing the word of the Lord, man, but being unselfish and willing, having a willing spirit to give uh your portion of uh your your lot which the father have deposited in your spirit out to the other brothers in uh in the body all right which uh gives nutrition to the body all right this is interchange okay it says of two or more people exchange things with each other okay synonyms exchange trade swap change barter reciprocate okay so these are what we we're supposed to be doing as uh ambassadors of yahweh by shimmy i was shy entertained in, interchanging that which he gave us according to our lots man okay it says uh, uh, another one of interchange that was the verb but this is the noun the action of interchanging things especially information and the lord weighed our actions man okay so the interchange of ideas, meaning what? Information. Information goes back to data, man. Okay? Which which is uh it says trading, trade, swap, swapping, give and take, man. Okay? Sharing, man. Alright? So that which the Lord have blessed you with, which is your talent, man, you know. You got to be mindful that you reciprocating that same talent that, that your brother next to you is uh, giving also to you, man. All right? That should be a revolving dough. And I'm going to go into that word talents too. Okay? Because it's important to understand talents and we know it's a measure of weight. But this talent that I'm going to be speaking about in this, in this vid is going to be about your actual gift, man. All right? This talent. We'll go to the online etymology of it real quick. Talent. It says a disposition, will, desire. That's from the late 13th century. Okay. <clears throat> it says a sum of money. And this money that we got is riches, which is what? Spiritual riches, which goes into our gift, man. All right. You got to go and, and, and uh become, you got to become a money changer, man. All right. With people, man. And that's not literal. I'm not speaking of actual money, but parabolically speaking of what? Uh giving out debt to receive uh spiritual things, man. Okay? Spiritual blessings, man. You're giving spiritual money out to receive spiritual blessings, man. That's why we uh say that we have a spiritual bank account building up, man. And we liken it unto money. Because money is a defense. So is this word is a defense until you uh until your building blocks in the heavens, man. All right. According to what you yo, what you're gonna be able to cash out once you uh pass on into the um the next world, man. Not even pass on, but either be saved into the next world, man, or or die and come back, man. Okay. It says, and in latter times, a sum of money to lift support. All right, to support weight. All right, is a gift, but uh. I'm going to go down to the medieval Latin and comic romantic sense developed from the figurative use of the word in the sense of money, in a sense of money, 
meaning special, special natural ability, aptitude, gift, committed to one for use and improvement. So the most high committed gifts unto our spirits for what? Uh, improvement of others to uh, what? Provide that talent and that gift. As the parable said, Matthew, man, you know, that the man that was given one pound, which was one talent, okay, he didn't do anything with that talent. So his talent was taken away from him, man. All right? And we know that all talents come from what? On above, man. Here's James. It's a lot of Real quick. This James. Oh, verbalness. Real quick. Oh, the light. I'm going to find it real quick because I just wanted to go in it. It's a locking. I just wanted to go in it. Yeah, this James 1 and 7. No, it was a James. Couldn't find it. Well, 1 and 17, it reads, every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and coming down from the father of lights with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Meaning what? Okay, your gift, once it's deposited, the, 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 the lot, the lap is cast into the lot, man. Okay, that, that meaning what? Your gift is deposited inside you, man. And there's no turning away of the of the talent of the gift, man. Okay? Neither shadow of turning, man. All right? So, like it said, John 3 and 27, a man can receive nothing except it be given him from the heavens, man. Okay? Go back into it real quick. So, I just want to explain that real quick, that the talent is the gift, man, and you got to interchange it, man. Okay, this Proverbs, let me jump into it, Lord willing, it be out of fun. This Proverbs 18 and 16, it says a man's gift, make it a room for him and bring it him before great men. That's why I tell you that I just read in first Timothy that you can't what? You can't neglect the gift because if it's before great men and you hold back, you're holding back from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. All right. So that means you're what? You're robbing God, man. Okay? It says, and it bring it him before great men, man. All right? Which ultimately makes you what? It, of that number, of that body, it'll make you what? Great as well, man. All right? So that's just like trying to be Michael Jordan. Though, yeah, he was superior in his game, right? He still, when you really think about it, Scotty Pippen, Steve Kerr, and a lot of those other role players was real integral into what? Him winning championships. Because when they speak about the championships he won, they won as a, as a team, as a body, man. Okay? So you your part is as integral as the brother part on side you, whether it be a higher dose of the spirits or a lower dose. All right? Whatever your spirit uh, is in, in, uh, inclined with, you got to what? You got to deep you got to deposit that out into the other brethren, man. Okay, this is a rock. 14 and 11. It says, "My son, according to thy ability, do good to thyself and give Yahweh his due offering." All right? So what? Be good to yourself meaning what? Build your uh, talent up, your gifts up, man. Do what? Much studying, all right? Laboring in the work, right? And give your how are his due offering, man, all right? Make this offering unto the Lord, man. And everything you do, you do it heartily unto the Lord, man. As it says in um, Colossians, man. Matter of fact, let me get that. I won't get that in Colossians. Colossians 3 and 23. And whatsoever ye do, do, do it heartily as to Yahweh and not unto men, man. Okay? So, and that's that's what? That's speaking of what? The overall thing, man. All right? Because we do let our light shine before men. All right? So you got to have that understanding, man. All right? Knowing that of Yahweh ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance for ye serve 
Yahweh ba Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. So you got to do it heartily, man. Okay? This uh Sirach 14 and 13. It says, do good unto thy friend before thou die. And according to thy ability, scratch out thy hand and give to him, man. And what the men of the Lord got to give? We got what? We got what? What we have to give? Even though we, we do give on a physical level, the main attributes we have to give amongst our brethren is, is our spiritual gifts, man. All right? That we share with them, man. That's the most important thing, man. That we do give out, man. You know, that's why it says, and I'm going to go to 16. It says, give and take. Give and take, right? Okay, receive uh, that portion of the spirit that was on put on your other brother, other brothers by the Lord, which is different from yours, that varies from yours. Give and take, okay? Give them yours and take his, man. And sanctify thy soul. This is where you cleanse yourself, man. And you help and cleanse the brother, man. Renewing y'all each other's spirit. For there was no seeking of vanities in the grave. So if you gave up the ghost and you held back your talent, man, you can't seek that in a grave. You can't, you can't be like uh Lazarus, man. Or whoever it was, man. I, for, I forget. But you can't be like the uh guy who told who was like, let me go tell such and such. But no, man. You should have seek that when you was here, man. Presently, man. Okay? You should have handled that while you was here, man. That's why when the master went away and he came back and he still in one of his servants that had that palm, he like, what you doing, man? You know? You not reaping or you not sowing, man. Okay? Yeah, man. You got to know what it's hitting for, man. You can't be like these wicked, uh, these wicked men, man, that hold their talents, man. You know? They want to do what they want to do. This is a rock 29 and 7. You know? But be righteous unto your brother. Many therefore have refused to lend for other men's ill dealing. Refusing to be defrauded. But when you really dealing in the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, you ain't got to worry about your gift being, being uh, defrauded by other men, man. It's going to be well pleasing unto them, man. It's going to be more than accepted and welcomed from your brother, man. Men of the Lord don't have, don't be unfaithful in dealing your gifts out, man. Right? Or either in taking in, man. Vice versa. This 29 and 10, it says, lose thy money for thy brother and thy friend. And let it not rust under stone to be lost. And this money that we went into as a sum, which is a talent, which is what a gift that you swap and interchange with, man. Okay? And let it not rust under a stone to be lost, man. Where you become shamefaced because you didn't give that until your hour shot, man. Which is your brethren, man. All right? Going to some accounts with X to show you on how not to uh, lend out your money, man. According to not give up. When you do good, uh, give this uh, your gift out. Know to whom you giving it to, man. Or who you doing it for? You know? Because it could surely backfire you. This Acts 8. And this is the account where, uh, where I get into it. Acts 8 and 18. And when Simon and Simon the town, I think. And when Simon saw that through laying on, on, laying on of the apostles' hands, the Holy Ghost was given, he offered them money. Saying, give me also this power that whomsoever I lay hands, he may receive the Holy Ghost. So he was trying to what? Bargain the Lord's gifts out, man. Okay? You don't give out this gift for money or ask for money, man. Freely you have received, freely give, man. It says, ye that thirst come to the own um, water that ye may drink without money, man. And Isaiah, bro. It says, but Peter... Said unto him, Thy money perish with thee, because thou hast thought that the gift of God may be purchased with money, man. Not so. Not so. So it says, Thou hast neither part nor a lot of this in this matter. So Peter deal with him a card, was talking about spiritual money versus his carnal money, man. 
It says, for thy heart is not right in the sight of um, Yahweh, man. So when you're doing this for financial gain, man, okay, and not understanding that um, godliness with contentment is great gain, then you're coming in the wrong spirit, man. All right? You're using whatever tool you have to get over on brothers as brothers have did. Not only just in GMS, but in other camps, man. Okay? Another account real quick. It's Matthew. That's how not to own um, gamble your talent, man. You hustling your talent, man. There's Matthew 21 and 12. It says, And Yahweh shall went into the temple of Yahweh and cast out all them that sold and bought in the temples and overthrew the tables of the money changers and the seats of them that sold doves, man. All right? These ought to be men of the Lord, man. All right? Y'all using y'all knowledge and wisdom, man, to own um, kind people, man. And overuse them, man. It says, and, and, and said unto them, it is written, my house shall be called the house of prayer, but ye have made it a den of thieves, man. You're robbing the Lord, man. When you're using your talents for the measures you not meet to uh, use them for, man. Okay? All right, this is a rock, 14 and uh, 8. It says, the envious man had a wicked eye. He turned away his face and despised men. A covetous man, covered in your talent, eye is not satisfied with his portion. All right? Obviously, you feel as if your talent, you know, I need to, I can make more. I can, uh, I can make abundance, you know, with my talent, man. But you're supposed to bear forth good fruit, man. It says, and the iniquity of the wicked dried up his soul. So thinking wickedly with his portion, right? He's trying to what? Overgain people, man. Trying to get over on people, man. A kind man. It says, oh, oh, a wicked eye, all right, envies his bread. Meaning what? He's not keeping his eye single. He envied his own bread, his own talent, man. And he is a nigger at his table. All right, and if you at the table, we like I read a man on um, a man's gift bringing him to the table before great men, man. So when you at the table, you gotta be willing to break bread, man. Okay, and this word is like an unto bread, man. It says, yeah, and he's a nigga at his table, and you don't want to be that, man. You know, you don't want to offend your brother in no way, man. You know, especially dealing with talents. And if you do offend your brother, tell you in Matthew 5 and 24, it says, leave there thy gift before the altar. This is the only time you shouldn't be interchanging your gifts, man. Okay? This is the only time. Other than that, you're supposed to interchange your, interchange your gifts and righteousness. It says, leave there thy... Uh, it says, I read 23. Therefore, if thou bring thy gift to the altar... And there remembers that thy brother had aught against thee, having an issue against thee. Leave there thy gift before the altar and go thy way. First be reconciled to thy brother and then come and offer thy gift, man. All right? So knowing how and when to apply your gift, man, it matters, man. All right? That's your talent that the Lord deposited upon you, man. And you got to be circumspect on how you are uh, distributing it and issuing it out. But with that, I can, I hope it was edifying until the next time I won't see Shalom.